another Harris Elmore and Genoa Libraries podcast. That was um, our attempt at making turkey noises because this podcast is all for November. Thanksgiving's coming up. Holidays are ensuing in a quick fashion where it just seems like holiday on repeat, yep. which I'm okay with. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> so today we have Miss Jennifer Folding, our director Hello. for all of Harris Elmont Genoa, myself, Ariel from Genoa Branch, and of course, Miss Sierra <laughs> from Harris Elmore as well. I don't know why I gave you everyone an accent, but... It felt so regal, though. It like, did. I refused to introduce myself because <laughs> you made it sound so oh, amazing. So delightful. Delightful. So, but are we excited November's here? It no, seems like no. it... <laughs> I'm like, so no. stoked. <laughs> November is birthday month in my family. Yeah. So, yeah. I get to eat like That's right, birthday buddy. Six different cakes and then, you know, Thanksgiving dinner at the end of the month. So And yeah. it's your birthday too. It is my birthday. And it's Abby's and birthday. It's Abby's birthday. birthday. Um I also and it's your, your birthday. And your birthday. Your birthday's your birthday. What yeah. day is yours? Yeah, the fifteenth. It's oh, right after hers is the Thursday yeah. the 13th. So yeah. mine's the 13th. My uncle is on the hers 15th. is the 14th, I think. No, it's the 13th. It's the 13th. Oh. No. So, <laughs> my uncle's on the 15th, Nathan is on the 7th. My god, we need to just have a November birthday party. I like, know. forget the rest of the staff. So my older guys. sister, hers is on the 1st, my brother's is on the 20th, my parents' great. anniversary is in November. You they have a fall. schedule, so. <laughs> it you have is. to. <laughs> so, like, it's kind of sad because my one sister is the only one who isn't a November birthday, hers is in March. Oh. So, like, total opposite of the year. I know. I told her before that I always overcompensate at Christmas time when buying her gifts. Because I'm like, your birthday was so early this year, and everybody else got birthday presents in November. Aww. So, I like, I always overcompensate and buy her more. Oh, that's nice. So she knows I'm, that I do that, too. <laughs> I don't know if I would do that to my sibling. But then again, I buy her a lot of things. Like, I'm not going to say it yeah. in case she, like, listens or watches the podcast, because I don't want to ruin it, but it's going to be a good one. <laughs> That's all I can um, say. Yeah. I don't have nearly enough shopping done. <sighs> it goes by so fast this time of year, every time. Whether it's, like, work-related, like, I think for us, because we do, like, programming and we see yes. people and we're constantly talking to people, it just flies by, and then, like, you go home and it just flies by. It's mm-hmm. just a vicious cycle. It is weird to think how quickly this month has gone by and there's like a program I have later tonight and then there's things my brother's looking forward to at the end of the month for like things that are coming out that I told you there's a video game coming out at the end of the month. Right. I took the day off so we could go shopping together. I was going to take my brother shopping and then we're going to spend the evening playing this game. So that sounds wonderful. I've done that with my sister too. Like we've like gone and got together. I'm like okay, and we stayed up till like I don't know how late we stayed up. And we're like <laughs> jamming out. Beat it? <laughs> no, we never leave the game. But we can leave. no, no. I said, did you beat the game? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. And see, this one it's no. a it's an anthology series of games. So we played the first one and the game that the company had made previously. We only get through maybe two hours of gameplay and then we have to quit. It's so psychologically terrifying. You, ooh, when you play a game, do you get like upset with the game? Because this yes. is this oh, is just <laughs> not, not this is a, the game that we bought and we played like into the crazy morning daylight. But I had this game. It was a Kingdom Hearts game. So it was like one of the first or second ones. Yeah. And I was so excited we had it because it's all Disney related. And we're like, we love Disney, and it was so fun. And we couldn't get past this, what we thought was the last level. We come back like years later to try to play it again. <laughs> and then we finally beat it. We're like, finally, we have the skills. And then there was oh. even more gameplay left. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but we did eventually finish it at least like a month or so after. So It's funny you said that, though, because it was literally last week. I don't even know what we were talking about. My mom and I were talking about playing video games and like this particular series. It's very terrifying, so yes, I get very worked up because I get scared easy, and they're all psychological or, like, jump scares. Oh, so again, I can, we only get through two hours. Like, even my brother, who is a diehard video game player, we get through two hours of gameplay, and then we call it quits. And the other day, my mom's like, you are so obnoxious. I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, I hear you screaming and carrying on playing video games. I'm like, you don't understand how scary scary it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. But yeah, it was just no, funny because I'm like, I don't realize how loud I get, but I know that they scare me, so I guess I... I get that. <laughs> my parents, like, because we have a 
two story house and we would like play in the night we'd be screaming or like we'd be like, Oh my god, I'm in there Run it up <laughs> And like we'd be like, We're trying to sleep here, your father has to work in the morning because he would like work a yeah. Saturday and we're like That's it. We, we don't stay up late playing video games because our console in our living room is very close to my parents' bedroom. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we, we have to go to bed unless only one person is playing mm-hmm. and it's not a scary game they can stay yeah. up forever, but you can get constantly screaming on these video games all the time. I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> well, like Don't you wonder, like, like, wow. We had kids coming in here well, to play Roblox, and, and they, were, <laughs> they would sit on the farthest computers away from each other, and they would, like, yell at each other the whole time because they were playing the same game. Oh they were, like, God. chasing each other, and it's like, just sit next to each other on the computers. Yeah. Well, it makes it all very mysterious. You can't see where they're at. Mm-hmm. Like, I would play too well two player mode with my sibling and I'd be able to see where she is based on her half of the screen. Right. I wouldn't tell her this. I mean now she knows. Screen cheater. Listen. I used to do that too. I, I mean <laughs> that's the whole thing with a good good party sibling rivalry where you have to outsmart them strategically. Yeah. But they never know. I'm sure she's done too. If she hasn't yeah, be. no, I think we were all really guilty of that. And then it's we so actually, easy to do. There's mm-hmm. a game we have on our PlayStation that's called Screen Cheat. So everybody's characters are invisible. What? And the purpose of the game is to screen see? cheat. So if you have four players, there's four like screens for each player. And you just watch the other people's screens to know which like quadrant they're in. <laughs> on the board because it's different colors. Whoa. So like if you're standing in green and you see a different part of green on the screen, you know somebody's in that territory. So you just have like a wet band of some sort and you just like swing it around until you kill this like <laughs> invisible <laughs> opponent which and is your sibling. And you hack it around. They hate it because, okay, my favorite one is to carry around a candelabra. Ooh. So like close to them, they just see like this swoosh of like fire <sighs> and they like take off running like, oh, you're super close to me. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun Sorry. if you if you swoosh and you see it on their screen. You didn't hit them, but you saw your fire. Oh man, it, it's, it's a it's a fun game. It, it sounds fun. fun. <laughs> that sounds like a good time. Well, I thought that was a good segue of what we're gonna do today. We're not gonna do it now, but we're gonna play a game later in our podcast. We're gonna play a game called Did, <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly how you say it. Oh, is it really? Well, well, depends on the, the card. Yes, I'm a first-time. <laughs> yes. Did you practice all your dudes? Um, I did a little <laughs> bit in preparation because I got a brief like synopsis of how to play the game from yes, here, yes. and I was like, okay. I don't know. I'm gonna. So you have to redo it. Again. I was gonna say, I'll we need to tell everybody else I'm playing with. So. Yeah. Yes. I'll read the instructions when we get to that point, so you guys understand what we're doing, what we're doing, and why yeah. we sound like crazy people yeah it'll be fun we'll be fun saying crazy people well <laughs> i guess with that we'll jump into the meat of it yeah we'll let's like, let's get started let's do some programming now that we've kind of like chatted for a bit we're all really chatty today <laughs> it's okay we had a rough morning <laughs> yeah yes yeah. yeah. it's raining today i mean at this time of year it's so hit or miss sunshine wind <laughs> rain pitter <laughs> patter like there's a bunch so for this month, for November, of course, the podcast, we do that every month, Lip Boxes, so you get to sign up the first. Oh, but we have a change for Lip Boxes now. Yes. 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 But yes. don't you worry. We do not forget about that. Okay, good. More to come because Sierra has some more Lip Box cards. All right. So we're going to include all of them together. Yeah. Unless you want to talk about it now. We just oh, it doesn't matter. Might as well. I mean, we're doing now. We could. There's my cards and everything. Yeah. So you want me to say what's new first? Yeah. Um, we have a change. We have a change with the boxes because quite a few of our boxes have um, walked off forever and they've decided not to come back to the library, which is very sad to us. Um, so to keep that from happening further, we have put barcodes on all of our boxes. So when you pick up your lit box, it will be checked out to you um, on your card. So just the box portion has to be returned to us within a week of you picking up your lip box. That'll prevent our boxes from wandering off further. So that's the new thing. It'll be super easy. It's the same. You get to pick up your box and take it home. Um, The only difference is it'll be checked out onto your card. So you have to make sure to bring that back. 
So yeah, I think that'll be good, helpful. Yeah, it helps us because you know those boxes are yeah they're good sturdy boxes and they're expensive. I mean, you can keep all the stuff inside still. Yeah, it just helps lower costs so everything can stay free for you guys. So mm-hmm. please help us out. Yeah, so that's all it's for. And I super love our boxes. I really do. We've already had one severely damaged. I think, <laughs> no. I think a dog got a hold of it when she oh. returned it. She felt really bad about it when our patron returned it. She but still returned it. She though. still returned the box <laughs> even though it was damaged. So I appreciate that too. You know, even if it's damaged and you bring it back to us, it still shows that like, you know, with good faith, you you still brought it back to us. So I only have two cards this month, but I was really happy with what they said on them. Um, this oh, one has markings August. for August and <laughs> September because I think she forgot to return her August card. So she read August box and book a 10 out of 10. September's was a 9 and an 8, so she didn't like the book as much, but the box was still a 9. She said, these are so fun. I love them. The August one had such a fun variety of items. I agree. I think the <laughs> August one was my favorite one. That was the one that had the oh, coloring so book and yes. the quilt square bookmarks that my grandma made. Yes, so I agree wholeheartedly. That was probably my favorite box so far this year. I think Christmas is going to top it. Uh-oh. Just saying. <laughs> I'm also looking forward to November's box that I'm currently working on. So my second card says they rated the lit box an 8, but the book at a 1. So... Mm-hmm. Was that a teen it, romance? It was. People don't like teen those. romance. I Listen, like I understand because I too, even when I was a teen, I did not really. I liked some teen romance, but mm-hmm. if it was too like, oh look at Brad as he practices football and like, it was almost like I didn't like it at the time. But I like them now. I like it, it now. <laughs> I think it was so much more now. I think yeah. it's almost too over the top, depending how they write it, where it's like. Listen, teen boys do not think that. I'm like, teen <laughs> girls are like, ew, gross. Yeah. I was very like, ew, boys. They're mm-hmm. nasty. <laughs> so, I can understand that. I'm going to try to do better with the books next year and get less teen romance. I think I kind of picked this year's selection on the books that I really like. And it turns out patrons don't like that so much. So, <laughs> I'm listening to you guys now. I'm going to get better books, the things that you guys actually want, like mysteries, mm-hmm. nonfiction. Good um, variety. I don't know what was the other one they wanted. Historical, um, historical fiction. fiction. So yeah, we're gonna try to do that. I'm with you, historical fiction. So history. the last thing uh, this patron wrote on there when I said, how can you make your lit box experience better? She suggested a beverage, and she likes it when the Whoa. bookmarks uh, match the book cover. I enjoy doing that because I get to make the bookmarks myself. They are so cute. I so, love your fire like popsicle. The popsicle one. I love so the popsicle cute. one. So yeah, for November's lip box, the bookmark is going to match the book, and I had a blast <gasps> making that one. Oh God, exciting. So, excitement! <laughs> I love that. I'm not sure how we could incorporate beverages, but that's a good, like, well, you could do all kinds of powdered things. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Kool-Aid and um, tea and... Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we did do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll we do, do tea. Yeah. I have tea in mind for a couple other uh, boxes. Like, lemonades come that way, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was even hot looking into uh, yeah, definitely hot chocolate. You know those uh, sparkling juices like that you get from Costco. Yeah. They're just like little cans. Oh, they're so I can fit those so like picture. we could do that. I love I love those Izzy's. Izzy's. Yeah. Oh yeah, those sparkling are sparkling juice. Yeah. They're my favorite thing. Um. So I'll look into it. Um. It's definitely an option now that I know that's something that people want. They make everything like little. Yeah, yeah I just need little tiny yeah. miniature yeah. sizes. Maybe a juice or like a yacht or juice for like, box. Yeah, for like the beginning <laughs> of no, <laughs> seriously. So like the beginning of school year, you'd be like, welcome back, and I oh, nice. like school theme. I made this school <laughs> lunch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. your lip box. Your lip box. Honey, we have government cheese. Oh. You should give them that. <laughs> oh, if man. it becomes a thing, I'd like to. Um, if it's possible to start like a kid's lip box eventually too. It'll be probably late next year before I can really even think about it. But it's in my mind that's that's something that can happen. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm always excited for lip boxes. So, so. <laughs> I have yours packed. I'm out. a little bit biased. I just love them. I think they're fun, and I'm glad people enjoy them. Oh yeah, I enjoy them. So I'm like, oh, you should enjoy them too. <laughs> well, it's good for um, October's. Aside from the one I packed for Ariel. Um, Because we only had that many people signed up. That makes 20, including her. So everyone was 
filled up. Every spot was filled up for October, so it's good. People are still loving it. I know, I love it. I know. I love when it picks up. I love when I just get email after email of people signing up. It makes me feel really good. Yeah. We're doing something good that's, like, really helping people. I hope everybody's reading and enjoying the books. I think so, too. I wish I could read as fast as you guys. (laughs) Honestly. One day, maybe when we're retired and, like, don't have as many responsibilities. Yeah, you know? We could do that. Yeah. Let's shoot for that. Yeah. Retirement early. (laughs) We're good. Alright, on to the next. Okay, so we're starting homeschool hour back up again, so woohoo! Yeah, I know people have been missing that. And Miss Abigail is going to be hosting a mock interview. So this is November 3rd. It's going to be from 11.30 to 12.30. So there'll be mock interviews, and it's going to show you how debates and elections work. So On so, election day. Yes, oh, exactly. Yeah. Since yeah. it's such a big election season with it being a presidential election, yeah. I think it's really awesome to focus on that. So they're, so they're all getting on Zoom and doing this? Like, yes. It'll be via Zoom. So I will be excited to see how it pans out. Cause I know when I was young, I'm like, sure, you just built for somebody, but it's so much more than that. Mm-hmm. So it'll be a good experience. So if you are listening to this podcast and you have a homeschool uh, co-op, join in. Yes. November third. November third. <laughs> also vote. Yes. If yes. you're legal age, you vote. Hopefully you, vote. you registered. It's too late for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> November 5th, we're going to have a, another quick craft that will be on YouTube. It's going to be a citrus garland. Mm-hmm. So it will be live at 11 a.m., which will be perfect. It will hopefully smell very fragrant for your house. Yeah, I will be excited. November 9th is going to be a resume job search workshop. So Miss Abigail in Ohio Means Job will be on Zoom from 2.30 to 3.30. So it will help with building a resume and finding a job if you are in need of one. November 10th, we're going to have STEM with Miss Dawn. They're going to do area and perimeter, which you still have school, so it's probably a good idea to learn some other stuff. You know what she told me they, they were doing? It was, uh, could, can you step through a business card? That's like the whole premise of oh, the STEM. Oh, like, whoa. That's, that's trippy. Um, <laughs> I feel like, I remember doing a thing. I don't remember if we did it with a Sunday school teacher or something where you fold a paper and then you cut it a certain way so when you unfold it you can fit your body through it. It's kind of like that. That's kind what? of the uh, But it's all teaching you about area and perimeter while doing that, so pretty neat. Dude, so that's good. So I've forgotten all about that until you said that. I'm like, oh, I remember doing that as a kid. Hi. Is, so is Miss Dawn going to be doing that? Yeah. <gasps> something like that. Oh, oh man, I'm going to have to watch that. That sounds really yeah. Brilliant sounds fun. Yeah. Oh, the next one on our program list. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about <laughs> it too. November 12th, it's a grab and go craft, which is Crayola calligraphy. So since bullet journals were such a success they last were. month, yeah, I was very, I was very proud. I would have made more if I knew people liked it so much. So you're gonna learn. You're gonna get a kit. Then you're gonna start learning how to practice hand lettering with. You can use Crayola markers or any other type of markers as well. So the kit will include three lettering stencils, three Crayola super tip markers, and two pieces of bullet paper and, and an instruction sheet. Hmm. So I've seen part of it. It looks super cool, and I want to take <laughs> one if there's leftovers. Okay, this is so cool. When I was younger, I used to. I actually had a calligraphy pen, and I just used to write. Yeah. And make I was like, oh, so did I. I think all my ink dried up at one oh, point, but yes, yeah. I definitely enjoyed my calligraphy pens. Practice write my name. <laughs> yes, yeah. my future yeah. husband's name. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, with your future husband, did you get the last name right or the same first letter? It wasn't something I knew. It was always some kind of like, actor or something. I'm I was like, so I'm in middle school. I mean, <laughs> did you? Did you guys ever play Nash growing up? Or was, all the time. Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember how to fully play, play it. You know, it's M. Well, M. isn't it M. like the big circle? Oh, yeah, this is a circle. Well, M was for, like, um, mm-hmm. marriage, wasn't it? Marriage, yeah. Age. 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 Um, yeah. Social standing? Yeah. Oh, no, wait. I don't remember. H was house. What kind of house yes, are you going to yeah. do? Oh. Cool. Salary. Salary. Salary, yes. How much are you going to make? Yes. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh. So you would write them, <laughs> so you, like, pick, like, four different things in each topic, and then... Uh, and then you'd like write them around in this thing, and then you make a circle around all the things that were over and stop. You'd be like, stop, stop, stop. Yeah. 
and see yeah, what's going on. No, yeah. Yeah. And then sometimes you could do it in one of those folding things too. Yeah, where you're like, I forget what are those I was, called. I yeah. See, I always used to see people play with those, and I I knew kind of the concept of what it was, but never actually made I one. Never, play I could never make it. I'm not handy that way. I always had people make them for me. Yeah, I, I never know. Just do it. <laughs> I did know how to make these cool little like. Um, children, if you're listening or watching, I recommend, yes, um, don't do this in school. I would take pieces of paper, other kids would do it too, it wasn't just me, you would fold it up and then you would like slip it on the floor or you would like throw it when the teacher wasn't looking so you could pass a note. So it looked <laughs> like, yes, I know you're so naughty, jeez. Well, you could fold it up so it looked like a cute envelope, that's the point of getting it. Oh, it's like okay. an envelope. Oh. Yeah. I'll have to show you guys after. Because it's kind of hard to tell from for people that are watching. You wouldn't be able to really see the folder. Yeah, see if you can find this. <laughs> <laughs> so you can fold your paper to look like an envelope, but don't be yeah. throwing it around in classrooms like well, Ariel used to. I know. You might as well just don't, well, you guys don't need to pass notes in school. Don't be naughty like Ariel. <laughs> to be fair, it was science. <laughs> Which, ironically, <laughs> I got my master's in a science, so I still like science. Setting up bad example. <laughs> I'm like, don't do it. You're like, it was the boring class. I will say, children, I would not recommend doing it. But I mean, good luck doing it now if you're still a hybrid because you can just pass it to your sibling at home and be like, ooh, will you learn it? Yes. And like, pass it on the carpet. <laughs> that was me always. <laughs> Anyways, what's next? Yes, November 13th. <laughs> Another quick craft we're going to be doing cereal bowl book holder. So that'll be 11 a.m. on YouTube as well. And November 16th, a manga live, or manga live, I should yes. say. Yes, yay. I'm very it's... excited about this. Yes. Do you have a lot of people signed up for today? Um, I think I have six. Ooh, okay. that's and great. I only, yeah, I only had uh, three people that came and picked up books, but they're all friends with a bunch of other kids that are right. normally a part of our, our manga here, um, so I'm sure I'll, I'm, I think I'll have more that log on tonight, so um, I'll keep track of how many you do. Nice, that's so fun. Yeah, yeah so I'm excited for it. what day is that? You said the 14th? The 16th. The 16th. The week before November 16th, I will have um, the next set of books available for them to pick up here. It's so still one piece, right? Yep, we're so going to continue piece. reading one piece, so it'll be six through ten, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. The next five books. It's a good manga and a good anime. It's I funny. love it's anime. So true. That's what, um, we're going to start right at the beginning, so if you join us on the uh, 16th, we'll only be on like episode three or four, probably, so it's easy to catch up, it's hilarious, it's classic, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. That'll be exciting. Are you joining us for today? Yeah. Yes, I was Yay. going to stop in for a bit. Yeah. Because I'm like, ooh, I like one piece. Yeah, I'll probably just sit back here with my laptop on. And yeah, because I have never um, done like a Netflix watch party, so I'm so curious as to how that works. So I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm excited that Netflix offers something like that, so. Yeah, yeah. it's about dang time. <laughs> they probably know because other people share passwords and stuff. They're like, you might as well just make a watch party out of it. Well, you have to have your own Netflix to do it. You have to have your own Netflix to do it. You can't share your things because that and is not what Netflix wants. Yeah. <laughs> so and it knows you have your own login. You do. Oh, you do. Okay. So it's just like the, the the part that we're linking to is like the meeting space where you can chat together. And oh. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. So what happens really is I have to be on my laptop in my web browser and type in Netflix because it's a browser extension. Gotcha. So when I turn on the browser extension, it starts to party. I pick what show I want, and then I copy the link and email it to all the participants. Oh. So they have to go to their web browser and pull up Netflix, and then like that link will take them to my party site. Oh. So they're all watching what I'm watching at the same time, yes. At the so. same time, and it has a chat box on the side so everybody can talk oh. to each other at the same time. So it looks oh. like Discord in a way, but it's like silent. You can't hear each other. You can just see the chats as they're coming in. Well, that's kind of nice so that we can like watch the show. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that would be very old. Yeah, we're we're not, have those, not have those people that talk all through the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it'll be good. I think we'll have more people 
show up tonight. If not, I feel like they'll tell their friends and they'll yeah. come for sure um, in November. So and then they'll have to catch up. Yeah, right. which is super easy. I mean, I'm way past season one on my own watching, but mm -hmm. I'm okay starting from the beginning because it's such a good show. Oh, for sure, for sure. I should have asked, too, if they wanted to watch the sub or the dub. Well, you asked them that. We're watching sub, whether they like yeah. it or not, because I like sub. It's better. Way it's better. better for them anyways, because they're mm -hmm. reading. They have to read, <laughs> yes. Well, and if they have an accent, I know, like, my mom and I will watch, like, I'll just make fun of that. foreign yeah. films, and then we'll, like, yeah, hear I mean, their accent, myself. and then I'm, like, I find myself reading it, because, like, I watched this one movie, ironically, off of Hoopla, and it was, like, this Disney-produced film, but in India, oh. and it was Bollywood, and it had all these beautiful colors, and it was, like, this fairy tale type style movie where it was, like, ooh, he has to save the princess because she's like being captured or I don't remember the whole plot line but it was something along those lines and it was actually really good and I'm like wow I'm glad I wasn't like against foreign films or else I would have missed out on it. Right. Yeah. Really cool. I did that when I was watching Spanish TV and I watched <laughs> Grand Hotel. Oh my god. Oh, that is yeah, the yeah, best yeah. show in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And I just love the subtitles. I love subtitle shows. It annoys yeah. my family, which is funny because they hate listening to, like, the American version of a Japanese anime. Because they're like, their voices are annoying. But if I listen to it in Japanese, so I just read the subtitles. It's, it's so much better. It's so much better, but that annoys them too. And I'm like, <laughs> but now you don't have that annoying American accent. Mm -hmm. You should like that better, but no. I mean, the mouth never like syncs up when they mm -hmm. do dubs and things like that, yeah. too. It's just <clears throat> so strange. I yeah. do. I will occasionally watch Black Butler. Um, oh, yeah. I've seen a few episodes, yeah. And I do they have a nice voice for that, though? Yeah. I mean, yeah. they nailed it with Sebastian, so that's I'm okay with that. Some people might argue with me on that one, which that's okay. If you don't like it, I like it. Um, I do back and forth. But there's some, like One Piece, I only do this up. Never the dub. Never, the never. Same with My Hero Academia. I've gone back and forth, but mm -hmm. I prefer the sub. So, good. Yeah. So they're watching sub. They're watching <laughs> sub. That's right. Well, November 17th, there's quite a lot going on on this day. So first one we have is this one's only after Noah. It is in person because it is three headshots and resume edits. And this is gonna be all day that we're open, 10 to five that day. So anyone can come by the library, you can get your free headshot, uh, drop off your resume. If you think you need edits, you need some help, it's a great way to have someone else's open opinion and get some good criticism and feedback so you mm -hmm. can better yourself. Nice. We also have several book groups meeting on this day, <laughs> quite a lot. The first one that we have is also from Genoa's evening group. So it'll be November 17th. It'll be at 6.30. And this is True Story, Murder, Memoir, Mia Kapla. Is I have Mia Kapla? Okay, thank you. <laughs> and this one's by Michael Finkel. And of course, as the name suggests, there's murder and it's a true story. And the story begins in February of 2002 when a reporter in Oregon contacts New York Times magazine writer Michael Finkel with a startling piece of news. A young, highly intelligent man named Christian Longo on the FBI's 10 most wanted list for killing his entire family has recently been captured in Mexico, where he'd taken on a new identity, Michael Finkel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the whole story is like how this guy took some, takes on his identity and he has to like figure out everything that's going on. So is it actually a true story or are they just saying true story fiction? <laughs> no, it's actually a non-fiction. So that's cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Unless I ordered the wrong copy, but I, <laughs> many people like myself are drawn to these um, true like story. Like, I don't know. I'm very drawn yeah. to murder and mayhem and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's just so much going on, you yeah. know? There's really like, you don't know who you've done that until we have the most of the time. So the other book group we have that same day is Elmore's Wine Flight. So that 
between the lines. And I'll be November 17th at 6.30 as well. And they're going to read The Tattoo is of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. And let's see here. It's a beautiful and illuminating tale of hope and courage. It's based on interviews that were conducted with Holocaust survivor and Auschwitz Birkenau tattooist Ludwig Solbeck. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. He has this one right here. So bluff. Sounds good. Yeah. An unforgettable <laughs> love story in the midst of atrocity. In April 1942, lay Sublov, a Slovakian Jew, is forcibly transported to the concentration camps at Auschwitz Birkenau when his captors discover that he speaks several languages and he is put to work as a tattooist tasked with permanently marking his fellow prisoners, which is a very intense story. People that have read it, they've really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I personally have not read it yet, but I haven't either, but I've been told that this is a very good book. It's very popular. I think it's definitely a good one for a book group because the discussion portion is going to be really, really good. Yeah, I think so too. They'll have a great discussion, definitely. And then November 19th, we have even more book groups. So that's what we do here at the library. We discuss and we read. So on that 19th, we have for Genova, we'll meet in the morning, my morning group, at 9.30, and we're going to read Code Girls, which I'm super excited about. It's the untold story of the American women code breakers of World War II. And I love World War II, so not that I enjoy the war, however. <laughs> There's a lot that took place behind the scenes yeah. that people don't even realize. Yes, yeah. Uh, recruited by the U.S. Army and Navy from small towns and elite colleges, more than 10,000 women served as code breakers during World War II, while their brothers and boyfriends took arms. Well, I'll be dang, I cut off my, uh, my uh, summary. Oh, it says read less, but it <coughs> sucks. Maybe that's all. <laughs> I don't know what these were. You'll have to, well, read, have to read to find out what they actually did. did. That's right, guys. Join me. That's a true teaser right there. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say. What's the thing, Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> that same day, Elmore is going to have their uh, discussion, yes, with Miss Jen over here. We're going to be reading Post Martem. When four young women had been found murdered, tortured, and strangled in their own beds, all victims of the same brilliant monster. What the heck? See, yours cut off here, too. Using a skilled hand and the latest technology in <laughs> in forensic science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, forensics. Those are very like intense. I did. It's see Patricia Cornwell, so she has a. This is the first one of her <laughs> uh, one of her series. Mm -hmm. So um, she's a big following. It's, it's great. It's great. Yeah. And normally, um, for those of you that are like, what the heck, Ariel? That's the third week in November. That group meets the fourth week of November. It's Thanksgiving. Exactly. So <laughs> we moved it up a week. So in case you're like, what the heck, let's address that right now. So that is why it is on the 19th versus the 26th. Because everyone will hopefully be with their families mm -hmm. and enjoying their loved ones. So where are all these places meeting? Your Mine is going to be here mm -hmm. at the library. Uh, Katie's will be at Wine. Actually, it'll, it'll be here. It'll also. be here. You're right. It will be here, here too. I forgot. Um, we are still in the process of determining whether or not we'll still be at the church or not. Right. Because so. normally, both Genoa morning and evening groups are would normally meet at the library. However, currently, we've still been meeting at Lady Lords until we can determine another location for us. So if you need to know a location or something, you were. I'm oh, sure. You can always yeah. call either library Absolutely. and find out the hours and times of everything, and to pick up your book for book group, because mm -hmm. um, we have plenty of copies here for everybody. Absolutely. And something I also forgot to mention um, before I talked about book group, that week of November 18, we are going to have a What Are You Thankful Garland oh, at each yeah. library. So you'll come in, you'll fill out a little die cut of, um, I believe they're going to be leaves. It's different things, fall related, yeah, yeah. fall related things, and you're just gonna write on what you're thankful for, and we're gonna hang them up so that's people so can see. Yeah, so I think that's fun too. Yeah. Then we're gonna jump to the next week, so November 23rd, 
quick craft Thanksgiving dinner place cards. And I, these are so cute. I saw Jude <laughs> working on them this past week, and oh my goodness, they're adorable. I highly recommend watching the video. I'm not going to say anything that will ruin the surprise, but <laughs> highly recommend. November 24th, we're going to do virtual general knowledge trivia. Mm, yeah. And that'll be at 6.30 via Zoom. So please register so the Zoom link can be sent. And then come enjoy, because I know Jen and I have done the trivia before. And we always have a blast. I've missed it every yeah. single time. <laughs> I just, I just read the questions for this new one, and they're, they're a little hard, but oh. they're really fun. And... Um, yeah, you'll enjoy it. It's different than the one we did. Oh, yeah. ooh, okay. I didn't do so hot the last time, so. I love trivia, but I always miss it. And there's a portion on it, too, where it's like, name this person so they give you pic um, pictures of them. Ooh, like, who are, are these people? people? Love that. Do they do? Is it celebrities? Because I can do that really well. Yeah, so Not the brand, some, but like, some I are celebrities. People. Some are, well, figures that are, that you should know. <laughs> that scares me a little bit because if it's someone I Either should like know, current I'm events not. or political, but mainly oh, it's, okay. it's entertainment. I oh, say I'm very bad at political spoiler alert. Multiple people. I'm excited. November 27th, we're gonna have another grab and go craft, shrinky dinks. Now, I used to do these growing up, where you take a little sheet and you draw what you want to put out, and then put it in the oven. And it's gonna be so fun. So mm -hmm. in the kits, I was gonna ask, mm -hmm. did you have a shrinky dink oven? Because when Abigail told me we were doing this craft, then she's like, you should do it. And I'm like, I don't have an oven no, anymore. We, and she's like, well, you know, you can do it in an adult oven. Yeah. We always <laughs> my mom and I did it. We had <laughs> a legitimate shrinky dink oven. It just sat on your table. Nice. You just shoved it right in with a little plastic yeah. spatula. <laughs> in the back room, we have a easy bake oven. Oh, that's kind oh. of the same. I used to have easy bake, too. Yeah, I don't exactly. know why we saved it. I figured we could make some. Yeah. The 90s were awesome. So, you know, we, we should just whip that out and people can make the shrinky dinks here. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, that would be. I'm breaking out the Easy Bake oh. Oven, just so you guys know. Might have to test it. What day is that? I'm not sure the Easy Bake Oven works, but it's definitely there. Yeah. Yeah. November 27th. Yes. I'll have the Easy Bake Oven out here. Yeah. So, in the kit will include, of course, the shrinky dink, so the plastic sheets that you draw on, uh, colored pencils, draw links. Stencils and accessories such as keychains, earring hooks, and chains. My wow. gosh. Dang. I think you guys are going to have more than I uh, ever <laughs> had with my shrinkings. We had the plastic sheets and colored string. So we would use a hole punch on it and then put it in the oven and then you just tie the string. Boom, done. Yeah, I, think, I think we used to have uh, like keychain hooks and stuff when um, my sister and I made them. And then, of course, our last one, it'll be November 30th. We're going to have Jackpot Virtual Game Night. Yes! Yeah, so Ooh. this is at 6.30. So this game, the Jackpot Games, allows uh, to be broadcasted the game onto computers. Patrons or participants will be able to use their phone, and it's going to be similar to Kahoot. I've never played Kahoot. Mm -hmm. And this game is fun. fun. Yeah, I like Kahoot because the faster you answer it correctly, the more points you get. And this game is reserved for patrons over the age of 16. Yes. Just so yes. mom and dads know. And of course, um, every Wednesday, story time still happening at 11. Yeah. And then we're in the week on Fridays as well. Yeah. Does, um, I was just looking this up. Does Elmore have free headshots too? Yes, we do. Yeah, it's November 19th. All day. Yes, I'm so it's sorry. I have it highlighted. Yes. I know you don't want to include us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's sad. Um, I did have it. If you can tell those that are watching, uh, it is highlighted on my sheet. Yeah. There's a lot of highlighting going on. <laughs> There's a lot going on, and it's yes. usually up. I don't know what day. It usually goes up on our calendars on our website, so you can go on there and look at our full program schedule and see what's, what's and coming up uh, during yeah. that particular month. Yeah. So Janelle on the 17th, Elmore on the 19th. Yeah, your yeah. headshots and your edits for. Yeah, absolutely, and it's all free. Resume. Because if you're trying to get into college or you just want to like spruce up your photo, mm -hmm. yeah, I did that in college. They had a bunch of like free headshots and resume builders, and I went yeah. all the time because. Why not? Yeah, it's free. And Why not? Like, Free photos. <laughs> Send to my family. <laughs> I can't afford a photographer. <laughs> Honestly. They're expensive. So yeah, now that business out of the way, I think it's I think it's time. It's time to bring out dude. 
Yeah. yeah. So know. maybe explain why we're playing games today. So why are we playing games? Because Elmore has a really, really great board game collection. It's true. And I think more people it. should play board games, especially right now. Mm. It's going into the cold season, and everybody's going to be indoors with your families. And even with COVID still going on, people are at home more often. And board games are a great way to pass the time. Yeah, um, I agree. And we used to have board game nights at the library, and they we did. were really fun. They were yeah. always really fun. I still have board game nights with my friends um, that come over to my house, and we'll spend hours just moving from board game to board game to board game. Um, we played this one once. <laughs> You'll see why. We have not played it since. But it's very fun, and real quick, I'll give a shout out to North Star Games for sending us these special games to put into our collection. Yeah. Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah. So they heard we had a big collection growing, and um, Steve Jackson Games also sent us a bunch of games. Cool. So you can come in here, and you can check them out for a week, take them home, play them with your family, mm -hmm. uh, bring it back, and get another game. So, yes, we have two copies here. We have Dude, and we have More Dude. <laughs> More dude is actually preferred for me personally, so that's what we're gonna play with. Oh. So, I'll so are they in. different versus dude versus more dude? They okay, are. Just, they oh, actually okay. are because with. I thought it was just like an expansion pack or something. Yeah. So, you can play with them together, but it's very complicated. Okay. So with dude, there's still six different ways to say the cards. Or like say, dude. Only six. What? I'm pretty <laughs> sure we can come up with. But it's it's like you can see how they're spelled out here. I know. Oh, I see. Oh. Also, they tell you how to do it. Oh yes. no. So <laughs> with <laughs> just about my creative juices, I didn't even need to practice. No. <laughs> so like, there's one that says, I'll read it for you who are listening. There's one that says, tiny dude cards. So it's a full card. It's got this little tiny word on it that says dude. So, so dude. you would say it like dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> dude. So there's one that says dude with lots of O's in it. Yeah. Dang um, it. I thought we had to do it ourselves. So, how do you yeah. so <laughs> with, with more dude, it says things like surfer dude, dude, robot dude, dude. <laughs> pirate dude. I did. I know that what? just so <laughs> fast. So your English accent. Oh. And, and so, I will tell you, you when I, I play this with my friends, <laughs> None of us can get pirate dude. What? How do you get a pirate, pirate dude? Sounds like a dude. Or you make tea or go. There be a dude over there. Like, that's yeah. a Scott. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. So you gotta get your art. I get the art. Dude. See, dude. dude. Don't no, art. Dude. dude. So, and then there's the <laughs> dude. There's the cowboy dude. I think that was pretty good. There's the cowboy dude. Oh, how oh. cowboys talk? Listen. Like southern? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's man. It's not the same way I did it, but like, dude. For real, like that. Can you do it? Yippee yay! No, that's the thing. It's it's how you interpret it. Oh, I so, see. Oh. So is there is there a way to lose, or we just never? Yeah. Lose? So oh, let me actually good. read the you instructions. So <laughs> you guys can pick out your colored cards because Ooh, there's colors. we yeah, picked so, them out. Yeah. So like there's Ooh, orange, there's, there's purple. yellow. There might be. So it's true. You get all of the of the color that you pick. You get all of that color of the ones you pick. Okay. So look through your cards. The word dude appears on each card along with one of six different characters, <gasps> which are the ones that I just read to you. I will pick green. Okay. So the goal is to quickly find matches for as many of your cards as you can. Okay. Um, wait a second. So there's multiple in my stack? No. There's the same cards in our stacks. Okay. So we have to match him with y'all? Yeah. <laughs> so if Jen has like robot dude, then we have to be like and then be like, bam. No. Oh, okay. okay. I'm, I'm getting so, on myself. This is how you play. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Everyone is playing at the same time for the entire game. There's no turns. Okay? Okay. You shuffle your cards, keep them face so down like in a lying. stack in your hand. On the count of three. What if I have a tiny dude? <laughs> Or that won't be in this game. This is more dude. Oh, oh, okay. No tiny dudes. No, no tiny, tiny dudes for you, man. Wow. Harsh. <laughs> so uh, they're shuffled in front of you, mm -hmm. and then flip over your entire stack of cards in your hand. 
Oh. So you can see your first card. Oh, okay. okay. You, oh. you, <laughs> you say the word dude as you think the character on your card <laughs> would say dude. And you just keep saying over and over and over again. And um, you think they say until somebody can get it. If you think someone else has the same card as you, uh-huh. make I can't punch that. What if they don't though? Do you just like keep going through? Why do you keep reading then? Sorry, I'm doing the same thing. I am so excited. excited. I just want to do this now. So <laughs> you will not find this fun in exactly two minutes. I can hear it. So you make eye contact with them. Okay. You okay. say it again, and if you're like, she's really saying the same way, dude, that I'm saying it. I can guarantee it won't happen with me. So right you now. say it until both players make eye contact and they're confident they have the same card. If they have the same card, one character then or one player then says, sweet. And that character or that person, like if I'm looking at Ariel, I'm like, sweet. You have the same card I do, and you think the same thing. You say sweet. So it's the same for both. Um, so they confirm a match. Okay. So what if you're not? What if you just think they're the same? Then, but yeah. Really not. Yeah. So what if you so have a different one? If That's the part I'm confused about. Only if you both say sweet, you reveal your cards to see if they match. Okay. Um, if they match, you place your cards face down in front of you. It's your score pile. Okay. So each card in your score pile is worth one point. If you both reveal a card that didn't match, you discard it face up in the center of the table, okay. and you don't get any points for it. Okay. So if you're like, we really do match, you reveal cards and you didn't, yeah. nobody got points. So what happens if nobody has the same So card? if you're struggling on one card and yeah. none of us match, yeah. just go to your next card. Can I do that now? <laughs> No, you have to start with the one there. <laughs> so after, if you discard one or you have one in your score pile, you quickly move on to the next card and you just keep playing until you have no more cards left in your hand. Or you so don't. when you, so if you think nobody has it and you need to move to the next one, it has to be this card. You don't get a point for it. Nope, you can put you that one at the back of your card. Okay. Yep, gotcha. back of your hand. Yep. So the game ends when you run on the couch uh, out of cards. Um, or like, if you're the first one that runs out of cards, you shout, chill! And everybody immediately <laughs> has to stop Sweet. playing. Chill. Chill, Sweet. man. Chill. That's so groovy. So, I say that constantly. Yeah. Like, chill. chill. Yeah. Chill. So the player with the most points wins. Um, all high players share the win. Okay. So. Okay. So I'm ready to If we're clear. I think so. If no, not, just, just You say. Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Wait, but I got. To. Yeah, but don't look at the. We can't look at the camera. Yeah. I'm not split screening these, okay? Well. <laughs> okay. You can show it to the camera if you want. I did. Yeah. Oh, you did. So maybe. Okay. I won't look at the camera. I can't, I can't even see. I know. I don't even know. Like, if I look at the camera, camera, I can't even see what it is. It's so I can't far, either. So does it matter? If I show the camera which one mine is, I have no idea. Nathan, that's for you, buddy. (laughs) Yeah. You probably can't see it either, but... Okay. All right, ready? I don't know. Stay. I don't like this. Do. 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 Do.
he doing? <laughs>
So what I said in this one. In regular goo? I think we um, need to just try it for um, experimental purposes. Experimental purposes? <laughs> Who wants to hear us say this game more? More do. Oh, Maybe man. Less do. Less okay. do because we just played more dude. Because we so didn't do little dude. Now we will just play the regular version of Yay! Dude. The same rule applies. Um, that'd be my only critique, because I really enjoyed, like, um... I like trying to do doing say two different dudes, but yeah. I, I need a... They should make it, like, a guessing game, because, like, I could tell your guys' as dudes, like, you'd be like, dude, I'd be like, ghost. And you'd be like, dude, I'd be like, robot. <laughs> right, like, <laughs> like, 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 charades. Yeah. Dude, I guess, it's dude um, charades. That'd be fun to do. Oh, dude. Dude. Oh. <laughs> Drop one, sorry. I, I personally found... Oh, oh, was able to get the card that you dropped. I found more dude you. Sorry. easier to play when I played with my friends because okay. I felt like it was more of a variety or whatever. of um, <laughs> being able to say it like a cowboy or a robot or yeah. something like that. Whereas this is regular dude that we're getting ready to play now. Um, but it's the same thing with just different dudes, right? Yes. Okay. So instead of saying it as a character would say it, instead of saying it like a cowboy or a pirate uh -huh. or an Italian guy, it's just how you think it's spelled would okay. sound. Oh, gotcha. So, like, I'll give you an example. Mine is spelled D E W D. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're gonna say it like dude, 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 right? You got that like W sort of. Someone that's like tie dye. You're supposed to be like hippie dude. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, how you think it's going to sound is how you're going oh, to say yeah. it. This sounds horrible already. So, I didn't want to do this. Same as last time. Okay, so there's only a couple options on here too, so you, there's like... There's not a lot, definitely. Yeah. There's still six, but again, I find it harder to articulate what the other person mm. is saying. Yeah, well, right. not, I can see it in another way, game would be easier. But it's kind of cool too, because you do like an accent. This is just like, yeah. you need to know. And <laughs> if, you, if you want, uh, we're not going to play it this way, but if you want to check out Dude and more dude together, you can mash all the cards together and play like that. Ooh, that would that'd be, be super hard. hard. It would be really hard. And if, if you check out our game and do that, please separate the cards accordingly. Yes. According to the boxes. Please. So, who's ready to say dude? Dude. dude. Hey. Dude. 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 <laughs> she already wins. She's like, I win. Alright, I will. Dude. I'm going to take You're ready. Dude. dude. Yeah, ready? Dude. dude. Dude, 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 sweet. question. I know. Dude, that's dude, sweet. Dude, 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 the more it gets into your head. 
And we played everywhere. this for hours, and it was, okay, it was really late at night, and when we play games when it's late at night, get we, get, we get loopy. Yeah. So, like, the laughter starts, and it's just chaotic at my house, so playing this game <laughs> made us feel like we were high, and, like, we could not play <laughs> any further, and we haven't played to this, this day. That's funny. I can't wait to answer the phone when I probably talk to you and be like, yeah. dude, you did. Listen, and it makes you think about it, too. Because I already say this all the time on my dude. Dude. <laughs> Afterwards, you're going to be like, dude sounds different. Honestly. No, like, it's just dude? a part of me now. It's a it part is. of me. I am dude. Dude is me. <laughs> As dude? we continue. Dude? 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 Sweet? Say? Hey! Hey! Dude! Dude. 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 Definitely for Christmas, uh, we always take board games to play with the family. It's yeah, nice. yeah, that's what we like to do a lot. Yeah, so if you're looking for board games to play with your family and friends, come into the library. We have a ton to offer you. Yeah. And like I said, a lot of them, like Dude, were donated to us by that's different awesome. uh, game companies like North Star <clears throat> Games and um, Steve Jackson Games. So they are really big companies. I actually love their games. Yeah, it's yeah, really fun. fun. Yeah. Well, Jen made a good point um, talking about bringing games on Christmas. Yes. Because next month is Christmas. Mm -hmm. And, you know, families yeah. uh, sometimes have traditions around Christmas. So we're asking you, the listeners, the viewers, the people of the people. You got it. We want you to send us letters of your family traditions. Yeah. So, like, on Christmas, my parents usually get, my sister and I, a new board game, so we like to play it throughout like the day, yeah. and we have a blast doing that. So I things like that. that, yeah. Yeah, tradition's great. Yeah, yeah. there's a bunch of fun stuff. Also, hiding the pickle in the tree. I know some people do that. <laughs> people do. Yes, they do. Uh, you know, <laughs> but um, yeah. some people do. We have a pickle in our tree from Tony Cacos. Oh, oh they, they, they have, have pickles. They do oh, yeah. Pickles. Yeah. So yes, send us letters. We've asked this before that you send us mm -hmm. things. So this uh, November, we are asking you to send us letters of what your family does for Christmas. Emails. Yeah, you can send us emails. Facebook messages. Do you go to your family's house? Do you travel uh, to people's houses? Do you guys make fruit cakes or popcorn garland? Do you decorate a tree? Um, whatever you do, whatever is your favorite family tradition, or if you have a really funny 
on a Christmas story that you relate every year oh, and yeah. you want to share with people. If you have funny and Christmas if have stories. Kids, if you have kids, uh, write the letters to Santa and we'll read them on air. Yeah, whatever you want to do. We will read them on December's podcast. Uh, if you just if you don't want us to read it, we won't read it on air, but we'll just read it and enjoy it for ourselves. Yeah, just try to have those to us by November 14th, that is a Saturday, because that following yes. week we record our podcast. So we want to make sure if you want it to be included, you want to share what you do for traditions, you have to just get it in. Yeah. I always, um, I think back to, there's a Christmas movie um, that I haven't watched it in a couple years now, but I always think his... The main character, his wife asked him, what did you do for Christmas? What was your family tradition? And he's like, well, you know my family Christmas. We would eat uh, cold french fries that's in chocolate milk sitting on the kitchen floor. So if you do something like that, do you know what movie that is? You're nodding like you do. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I was thinking of something else but that I need to announce, but I <laughs> Anyways, if you do something crazy like <laughs> eat cold french fries dipped in chocolate milk while sitting on the kitchen what floor that? this morning. I don't know that um, one. Um, strangely enough. That is, I know all uh, of it's from Deck the Halls with Matthew Broderick. Oh, I haven't um, seen that in years. That's probably why. I don't know why, but it's always stuck with me because he's such a Scrooge making Christmas perfect that like he keeps his family. I know in Frosties. Like chocolate frosties. I know, I do with frosties yeah. too. That seems like that'd be way too yeah. soggy. I think that's why yeah, it's always stuck with me. It's like, that's a great movie line, and it's just always stuck with me of like, that's what his family did. And I love that because it's so simple. It wasn't like all done out and big yeah. Christmas trees and giant dinners and things. It was just cold french fries and chocolate milk. And I love how simple that is. That so, is cool. no matter how simple or extravagant your Christmas is, we want to hear about it. So send us letters or emails, um, give us a call, whatever you want to do. We want to hear about it and talk about it in December's podcast. The one thing I was going to say when I was um, zoning out on you, I'm yeah, sorry. she's not paying attention to me. Because um, <laughs> I was thinking in November, um, I'm not sure when November, I'm thinking like mid, maybe second week or something like that, we're going to have uh, the Salvation Army Angel Tree at the Elmore oh, Library. That's true. I almost so, forgot about that. Don't forget to come. We'll announce it also for December too. Yes. But um, don't forget to come into the library. It'll be in the center of the library. You can't miss it. And pick up your angels and get them some nice gifts because there's some families in need. So. Yep. You can bring those gifts right back here at the library. We have someone that comes and picks them up and takes them to the family. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. I feel like that's everything we had written down. I'm very excited to get your letters for Christmas. Yep. I'm very excited for turkey dinner, which is coming up oh in November. Oh, pumpkin roll. Oh. That's what I contribute to Thanksgiving is the pumpkin roll. I'll say right now. So um, yesterday was a Sunday, so I had the whole day off. And instead of doing any work, um, actually my whole family did this. Instead of doing any work, my sister made a pecan pie and a pumpkin pie. Mm. I made two loaves of pecan pound cake. My sister made two loaves of homemade bread. Why is my hand shaking? <laughs> I have a deficiency of some sort. I can't She's stop shaking. Like, I ate too much of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I made sweet potato soup for dinner. Yummy. I saw a picture of sweet potato soup. It could have been okay. better. Um, and your cream honestly, cream, or no, the cream cheese rangoons. My cream cheese rangoons. Yes, I made those uh, earlier this week too. Aside from the onions, I needed a different onion, which I realized my brother had in the fridge <laughs> and I could have used. They were delicious. I'll definitely make them again. Um, it was a copycat recipe that I got online that tastes a lot like um, Panda Express, which I love Panda Express cream cheese rangoons. Um, yes, I do like to post pictures of food because I love food. Food is good. Food is good. My freezing cold hot chocolate. Yeah, yeah I will now. drink this Super cold. tasty now. <laughs> I'll heat it back up when we're done here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, we hope that you'll have a fantabulous month of November. Yeah. And a wonderful, thankful Thanksgiving. Yeah. And we hope to see you in here. Pick yeah, up board yeah. games. Yeah. Don't forget Did. to come to the library. Did. It's still open. Did. 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 Alright, dude. <laughs> dude. I feel like we all need to end on dude. dude. Oh, <laughs> wrong dude, wrong dude. Make a dude dance party. How Dukes. do you. Oh, 
What is that weird? Because <laughs> he danced for you last time. What? Did, how does how that? Does, how does a dude dance? Dude. dude. Yeah, like this. Dude. Yeah. I think he danced. Oh. No, no, you gotta, you gotta go like this. You gotta go. <laughs> into the bed. I feel like I almost got attacked. <laughs> she's, she's like this close, and she's like <laughs> right up in your face. Okay. Across. <laughs> Hard down. Oh boy. Okay. That's what I did. That's you know, what a dude would do. Can, you know, do what you will, buddy. That is what a dude would do. Dude would do. A dude, dude would do. do. Dude. Well, how do you like, make a ram out of it? Like a woodchuck chuck with a woodchuck. Oh, woodchuck so I think it is. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had a lot of D's. Um, a dude yeah. with a dude with a dude, dude, dude? I don't know. Uh, dudes did dab. Did dudes dab, duty dab. I mean, I don't know. Did dude. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Um, did dudes dwarf dab. It's hard to think of D stuff in sentences. Do we not? Dudes doodles. Do we not? Yeah, doodles. Oh, that's good. Dudes doodle. Did dudes doodle? Did dudes doodle what? Dogs. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> dogs. Uh, they kind of doodle dogs? Dangerous dogs. dogs. Ooh, okay. Did did dudes doodle dangerous dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Send us your rhymes. <laughs> we can bust called? a rhyme. That can be what the segment. Those, called? Not, those aren't rhymes. rhymes. What are those called? They're like Weird. tongue twisters. <laughs> tongue twisters? Yeah, please write us some tongue twisters also. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny oh. if we could send them in. We could have a blast. Oh, so yeah. Send okay. us for, tongue twisters. And, and we will read doing. them on the shelf. So that's what we're doing. Did dudes doodle dangerous dogs. Okay. Wow. So now are we closing? Because I'm pretty sure people <laughs> that are listening and watching are like, are they even like full recording? Gone. Now yeah. we stop making sense after playing that game. So and she will too. See, so I told you. <laughs> this oh. is what dude does to your brain. Oh man. It's true. Okay. Well, bye. Bye, bye everybody. Turkeys in general have this misplaced reputation for stupidity. This experiment of mine has proven quite the opposite. There are many things that suggest that wild turkeys are intelligent, but my experience with learning their vocabulary has taught me how profound this intelligence actually is.